there has already been shown a perpetual light system where the batteries used to power the lighting are recharged when the light is not in use. That design uses a latching relay to swap between two batteries on a continuous basis. But that tends to confuse some people and makes the design seem too complicated. So here is a design from our South African developer friend who shares his work freely and generously. He has daily mains power cuts which average seven hours per day and that brings into play the old saying that necessity is the mother of invention. He has built some of the earlier light designs which use a latching relay and those work very well. This one here uses a tiny 12 volt to 240 volt inverter and a mains LED light bulb. However, looking for an even more simple version has led to the following design which has few components and yet which works very well. It uses the same principle of operation as used by Carlos Benitez in his 2 kilowatt powered design. Namely, the circuit drives both the load to be powered, a light in this case, and at the same time drives a battery charger which charges a second battery which will be ready for use when the driving battery needs recharging. The circuit is switched entirely off when the light is not in use. The, the developer has easy access to many discarded 12 volt batteries and so he uses batteries of this type which is a 12 volt motorcycle style battery. The heart of the very simple circuit is a bifiler coil wound on a 40 millimeter diameter coil former using two strands of 0.71 millimeter diameter solid enameled copper wire. Each coil has 100 turns and the two strands of wire are wound side by side. The start of the first winding is connected to the end of the second winding. As you can see here, the start is marked with a dot. So one winding has the end of the winding connected to the beginning of the other winding. The method that's been used here is that the charging circuit is a standard dual T circuit with an additional winding of 208 turns of wire outside the main two windings. The output from that is passed into a diode bridge which in this case uses a UF5408 type of diode in the four positions that diode is very fast in operation, which is why it's called UF, and it can handle 3 amps and 1000 volts. The output from that is fed back through an ordinary two-pole two-way switch to whichever battery is not being used. The way it's shown switched at the moment, the recharging goes directly to this battery here on the right, and the battery on the left is used to actually drive both the charger and the light bulb. It's a very simple and very straightforward style of circuitry. For the light, the developer has chosen to use a 220 volt bulb, rated at anything from 3 watts to 5 watts, as that is easy to organize and gives really good lighting. Ignoring the coil circuitry, the circuit is extremely simple with a small inverter powered by either of the batteries. The inverter is very small and very cheap and the developer has found his to be highly reliable. It can be purchased through eBay and you can see here that it's very low cost in £1.75 for the actual unit and 50 pence for the postage from China which is extremely competitive. So the whole unit would cost you uh, less than £2.50. However, although it is so small, you need to be very careful when setting it up, as you could get a serious shock if you are careless. Remember that this tiny board is generating the same voltage and frequency 
as a 220 volt mains wall socket, so insulate it fully before applying 12 volt power to the circuit. An ordinary two pole two way toggle switch allows you to switch from one battery to the other. You don't do that until the battery driving the circuit needs to be recharged and that is a period of many hours. In the case of Carlos Benitez, I think he was using something like 12 hours typically before switching between batteries. Though obviously with a, a 2 kilowatt load, the batteries he was using were more powerful than these particular batteries. But this is the circuit here. The a single transistor has been used. It's an MJE 13009 type which is a low cost, low um, current gain, a very powerful transistor capable of handling high voltages. And that drives the circuit uh, using a 5K resistor feeding the base of the transistor. The extra winding around the two main coils is a type used in the FLEET style uh, of operation as you will see elsewhere in the literature. The diode bridge rectifies the output to pulsing DC and that's then passed to the battery which is being recharged. The press button switch marked A here is included because the transistor is sometimes reluctant to start with its 5k resistor and so a quick tap on the switch always get it started. If it doesn't start then the light will work fine but the second battery doesn't get charged. To allow a quick test to show that the uh, circuit is actually oscillating the developer has added a check light which is a single uh, indicator LED fed via a 300 ohm resistor from another press button switch B. So once you switch the thing on, if you press button B it'll show you if the oscillator is actually running and if it isn't a quick tap on button A will get it running uh, continuously and reliably. The 220 volt AC which the bulbs needs is generated by the in small inverter but that inverter also acts as a sensor for the state of charge of the battery which is powering the circuit. The inverter starts the light bulb flickering when the battery voltage drops to 12.5 volts which is about half at the charge for a lead acid battery. So when the light starts to flicker the two pole switch is operated to swap the batteries over. Again our thanks are due to the South African developer who shares his working circuits with us and this particular circuit is a very effective, very simple and very cheap working circuit.